is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have a custom wwe action figure tutorial for you guys we haven't done this in a really long time it seems like i feel like we haven't done like a tutorial slash you know like sort of fixing up figures like kind of doing some action figure surgery but not really surgery more of like just sort of like a fig hack slash customization type deal but let's go ahead and get into it guys today we're going to talk about how to make any wwe action figure bald now there are a couple rules with this. It's not every single figure. I can't take every single figure. And when I say every single figure, I do mean that any, you can make any single figure with molded hair bald. And what I mean by that is you guys know that you get two different types of action figures. You have the ones that have the sculpted on hair like Mizdow right here or this Finn Balor right here. Both of them have sculpted on hair. And then you have guys like I'm about to show you. You have uh, this Bray Wyatt right here or this Elite SummerSlam Edge. You guys know that the hair piece comes off right so any figure that the hair piece can like actually come off then it will not work it's it, it won't work because once you remove this hair piece there's like that indention in the hair where the hair piece you know gets gets glued or super glued or whatever however Mattel does it it's super glued to the head skin so it will not work with guys like this Bray Wyatt or this edge because of the hair piece being a separate thing however if you are using this John Cena or you're using you know any any figure literally would sculpt it on hair that's hard that's you know that you can't remove straight up that's not a hair piece you can make it bald and today we're going to test that theory out on this Finn Balor I'm going to show you how to make any figure bald we're going to go through the entire process we're going to do it for probably Mizdow and Finn Balor um maybe I don't know maybe we'll do one or the other I'm not sure we'll have to see how it goes maybe we'll do both it'll just depend I'm really worried about how I can get this on camera but anyways let's just go ahead and dive into it guys the first thing that you're going to need and this is probably the most important thing Actually, let's be real. They're both the both ingredients to this to this little uh, soup that we're about to make here today is actually very important. Both of them are very important. So the first thing is a Dremel. I know a lot of customizers have this, and it may work with other things. Maybe I mean sandpaper would work, but it's going to take a hellaciously long time to use sandpaper. So I wouldn't recommend using sandpaper. But a Dremel. This is the one I use. The Dremel 7300. You got uh, you know it's got two speeds. You got high and low. You get the you know the chargeable battery you got the uh, sanding head here and I, I recommend definitely using a sanding head and I think I use uh, the low setting is usually what I do yeah I think I use the low setting just so you know you don't mess anything up I may use the high setting when it's you know far off the head but we'll get into that later on but you definitely need a Dremel it will not work unless you have a Dremel and I know a lot of people aren't customizers you know not everybody that watches this is going to be a customizer but you know I, I want to make sure that if you are a customizer and you have a Dremel you'll be able to do this so you definitely want a Dremel that is the first thing you will need and the second thing and probably the most important like I said with the Dremel both of these ingredients are very important to the soup guys you can't screw up the soup if you screw up the soup I will find you and I will cut you sorry I had to see that but anyways let's get into the second ingredient we have a hundred percent acetone professional nail polish remover this is very important a hundred percent pure acetone not ten percent you get ten percent it won't work not even just pure acetone. Actually, yes, pure acetone would work because it's 100%. I don't know why they add 100% pure acetone. Why wouldn't they just put pure acetone? So it's not like, you know, I don't believe them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, make sure it's 100%. It better be 100%. Can't have 80%. I need 100. So 100% there is what you need. 100% pure acetone and uh, maximum strength is what I use. So we're going to get this. You can get this for like two bucks at your local Walmart. Live better shop happy whatever the hell the slogan is so that is what you need so this is literally what I did to make my Lars Sullivan using the Undertaker head scan this is what I used to make my my Kurt Angle head scan I'll pop that up on the screen so you guys will see you know the before and after I posted it up on Instagram and this is uh, this is what I use for my Cody Rhodes boots you guys remember the Cody Rhodes figure where we send it off the boots and made them like his smooth looking boots this will work I think on a lot of different uh, action figure parts I think you can actually use this on torsos you can use this hack on a lot of different things if you want to make it smooth or or bald or whatever the hell the case is so let's go ahead and dive right in i'm gonna shut the hell up and we're gonna we're gonna get to cutting some hair another thing i forgot to mention guys is you will need a towel so have like a, a little side towel like a little hand towel you will need this because you're going to have to uh, put acetone onto the towel you don't want to just pour acetone onto the head skin so you will need a towel that's another thing that you need to so add towel to your list of things you need towel don't forget 
forget it. All right, guys, so we're going to start off with Finn Balor. My boy Finn Balor right here celebrated his uh, his 38th or 39th birthday the other day. So happy late birthday to Finn Balor, even though it's freaking crazy that he's that old. That absolutely makes no sense. But anyways, let's get in here. And uh, I'll, what I'll probably do is just do like a, uh, I'll probably do like a quick time lapse of me working on the head scan, like sanding it down. And then we'll cut in. I'll show you everything you need to do. But uh, let's go ahead and dive right in here, guys. Because the Dremel uh, is going to be going over my voice anyway, so I'll probably just key in, um, you know, a time lapse and we'll see what happens. But uh, let's get started on this Finn Balor head scan to making it bald. Alright guys, as you can see, we're coming along nicely. You know, uh, Finn Balor is, you can kind of see the shape coming into form right now. Uh, it's got, you know, the front bangs are still there, but for the most part, I mean, the sides and the back or the top is pretty, is looking pretty good. You know, it's taking shape, it's taking that bald head shape, and it's looking pretty good thus far. And uh, we're going to keep going because I need to get these bangs down to, to you know, to pretty near flat. And so then we'll get into the next step, but... This is all we're doing right now. You see, you kind of conform. You make it into a bald-shaped head sculpt. You kind of get into the sides here, make it all even and stuff. And uh, I put it on that low setting. Again, you can go with the high setting if there's more hair, but I recommend the low setting for the short haircuts because if you go with that high setting, you'll end up cutting into the head. And then once you use your acetone, you will notice that there's like, you know, it looks like he's been blading, you know what I'm saying? He's, trying, he's been trying to, you know, blade and cut himself open. So uh, you end up looking like Devon Dudley or Sabu or something. You don't want to. You don't want to do that. You want to, uh, you know, take care of your figure here and make sure he doesn't have any massive cracks in his sculpt. And so uh, we're going to keep doing this, and we're going to keep going. I'm going to try to get these bangs down, and then we'll move on to the second step of the process. Alright guys, here is the final product after we have sanded all the hair off and sort of given him that, you know, that chrome dome shape there. And now we're going to move on to the next step. Another step is that there is going to be a ton of, like, you know, plastic shavings all around. Like, there is a ton of plastic. Like, look at this right here, if I can get it real quick. Look at all this. Look at all this. It's everywhere. So that is something to take note of, you know, if you need to get your parents' permission or whatever. Um, honestly, if you're probably not even, you know, 16 or 17 or even 18 maybe, I uh, probably wouldn't even recommend doing this because it is it is sort of, you know, a, a process here and you need to be careful with it. But now you, can, you guys can see sort of what we're working with and it should be, you know, it should be pretty rough. It should have scuffs and like little pieces of plastic still attached to it a little bit. You know, I did wipe it off though and I did run it underwater. You want to run it underwater so you get all those loose shavings, but it should kind of feel gritty. You know, it shouldn't feel smooth or anything like that. So it should have that, you know, that grittiness to it. And what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, go to the next step, which is the most important step. And uh, let's go ahead and get it, guys. So what we're going to do is I'm going to zoom out here so you guys can see. Uh, we're going to unscrew the 
top of our acetone. Be sure not to spill it all over yourself. Also, um, the method that I use, make sure that I put my index finger underneath the towel. So I'll show you guys real quick. I put my index finger underneath the towel like this. Then I stick my finger inside the hole of the acetone tip it up and then pull it out and then begin working on the figure. So uh, make sure you don't have a cut on your finger or anything like that because it will burn like hell. So I'm gonna do it just like I do it guys. I stick my finger down the hole, get a little bit of acetone onto the tip and then what we do is uh, you just go over the head sculpt. Be sure not to get the eyebrows or anything like that or it will just completely remove them and you just go over where you were or where you uh, you just sanded. Literally just kind of rub it in place like so. And uh, you guys can kind of see already that smoothness coming through, but we're gonna redo the same thing. And pretty much you're gonna redo that over and over on the same exact spots that you, uh, that you went over with the Dremel. So any rough spot on the head, you're gonna do that same thing making your way around. You know, you want to get the rest of that paint off the back too because, you know, people that are bald don't have just random brown hair on the back of their head there. So you see what I'm doing? I'm rubbing. You can see the brown paint coming off on the towel. And we're going to keep doing this until I go all the way around the head sculpt. And uh, we will see what Finn Balor looks like after I have done the acetone wipe over uh, everywhere where we've uh, sanded. Look at this man right here, guys. We are finally completed with our bald Finn Balor, and I gotta say, his head's definitely too tall. Like, if I were if I were really trying to do this, I would definitely come in here and sand more off the top. But I think we have created another meme here on the channel. Everybody wanted AJ Styles from yesterday's Toy Hunt to be a meme. I think we just created Egghead Balor right here. Let me get an Egghead Balor down in the comment section below. Look at that right there. But you guys can see what we've done here. I mean, this is exactly we are missing a little brown paint there. There is another spot up here that we're missing there but this is the exact process you go through to make any figure ball this will work on anybody like look at that egghead dude oh my god like this to this definitely needs to be rounded right here but it still works like it still works you guys can see exactly what we we're going for i think it was totally su a success you guys can totally see how the process works and um Again, if you want to make any figure bald that does not have a hairpiece, again, guys like this edge right here won't work because of the hairpiece. But I think this is totally successful just because it showed exactly how you would make any figure bald. Like, it worked exactly how you would want. You guys can see, you can see the grooves in there. And I don't know what kind of magic it is, you know, in this acetone that allows it to do that. But it's something about once you sand off, you know, that stuff and it has that grit to it, you wipe it with that acetone, guys, and it gives it a smooth finish. And it's it's crazy. It's freaking beautiful, and it totally works to a charm. Look at that right there. We have created an egghead baller. I mean, look at that. That is perfect. We literally just made this man bald. You guys saw it in real time. I literally just did this straight up right here today in front of you, and that's how I do it. That's how you make figures bald. And I hope you guys learned something from this video. That is going to do it for the video. Guys, again, I think it was successful. We're not going to do Mizdow just because, you know, I, I just think that uh, Finn Balor, you guys can totally tell, you know, what happened here. And you can see exactly the process that I take to make this happen. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I want to get a, um, I want an Egghead Balor comment down below. If you guys stayed all the way to the end, I really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did learn something. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, my name, Toys, and uh, go Egghead Balor.